Welcome back, everyone. It's lesson six, subtracting decimal numbers. We're going to start right away with an example of five and two tenths minus one and 86 hundredths. Just like the last video on adding decimal numbers, I wanted to give you guys an example where these two decimal numbers don't line up completely because this one doesn't have a hundredths place. And this one does. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and write our bigger number on top. And then when I subtract, just like in the last video, I want to make sure I line everything up really well. So my whole number should go right underneath my whole number. And then my decimal point should go right underneath. Eight tenths should go with two tenths. And then I'll just put the six hundredths over here. Does anyone have an idea of what we can do to make this look a little better? What can I do with this hundredths place up here? Great job. Just like in the last video, we want to put a zero there because that doesn't change the value. It's still five and two tenths. We're just showing that there's zero hundredths. Okay, now I can start subtracting. I can already see that when I'm doing zero hundredths minus six hundredths, I'm going to need to regroup. So I'm going to take a tenth and break it up into ten more hundredths. Now I can subtract my hundredths. Ten minus six is four. And then I see over here I've got one tenth minus eight tenths. Oh, I need to regroup again. Let me break up a one whole into 10 more tenths, and now I've got 11 tenths. 11 minus 8 is 3. I'm going to bring down my decimal point, and then 4 holes minus 1 is 3 whole. So my answer is 3 and 34 hundredths. You might remember Henry the Sloth from my last video. He started a taco truck. Let's check back in with him, see how things are going. Awesome, it looks like people are lined up to get those delicious tacos. <gasps> and he's even featured in the Metroplex Herald. Yay! Henry, oh no, we had 25 and 5 tenths pounds of cheese, but we used 23 and 8 tenths pounds. How many pounds do we have left? Can you pause the video and help us figure this out? Thanks for the help, everyone. Since we only have one and seven tenths pounds of cheese left, we better order more. And oh no, we're also low on jalapenos too. Can you pause the video and help us figure out this problem? Okay, let's help out Henry and Howard. We need to do 30 minus 28.75, or 28 and 75 hundredths. To me, one of the trickiest things about subtraction is when we have a whole number over here and we're trying to subtract a number with some decimal places. So let's dig in and give it a try. I'm going to put 30 on top since I know that 30 is bigger than 28. And since you guys have a good base of understanding your place value, you know that we must need to think about that this side of the decimal is the whole numbers, this side of the decimal is the decimal places, the parts of a whole. So let's put this whole number underneath this other whole number. Okay, then I can start trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my decimal places. So I'm going to put 28.75, and I know this looks kind of funny up here right now, so do you guys have any ideas? What can we do? Okay, good job. We can put, just like we tried in another problem, we can put zeros in the decimal places because it doesn't change the fact that this is still 30 whole. Okay, now I can start subtracting. Hey, I know there's a problem here because I don't have enough to take away 5. 
from zero. So I need to go to the next place value, the next bigger one. I also don't have any tenths. So I can't take, I can't regroup any of those. Let's move over. I don't have any ones to regroup, but I do have three tens. So I'm gonna take one of those. I'm just gonna do one step at a time. I can break up a 10 into 10 ones. Well, and now I have some ones, so I could break up one of these ones. Now it's a nine and it can make 10 tenths. Now I finally have enough to uh, help out my hundredths. So I can take away one of those tenths and it makes 10 hundredths. Okay, now I can do all of this. 10 minus five, nine minus seven, bring down my decimal point, nine minus eight, and two minus two is nothing. So this means, oh my goodness, we only have one and 25 hundredths pounds of jalapenos. Better order some more, guys. Thanks so much, everyone. But, oh, come on. We need help with one more problem. Can you pause the video and do this last subtraction problem for us? Let's check your work. Henry and Howard are so happy you could help. Thanks for watching, everyone.